We'll launch a stealth nuclear warhead at JD. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm. Satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, boss. <laughs> what the devil is this? Video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. So, Haven. Yeah, Bremen was saying something about that. Come. In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. <laughs> by the Patriots' AIs. <coughs> it all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this Haven? <coughs> Where is their base? <coughs> Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> but that's not all Liquid said. Something about 
Rex being ready. Rex. You mean Shadow Moses? It's Campbell. The U.S. military's systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the Earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public? The President has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. <laughs> Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy-related stocks are already going into a freefall. They must be shitting themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <laughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them. And they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... And what's his plan? That's it. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The rail garden. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space, unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long-forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut. His monument. Off the Alaskan coast, in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD, and his GW assumes total control over the system, He'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. 
defeat Liquid, and put an end to his insurrection. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Otacon! <coughs> we never stood a chance! <laughs> it's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this.
look at me. fight. My destiny. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Armstech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nukes should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, I... Uh, yeah, 
I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. He who submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. I have to atone for my past, too. Rex is a beast, born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. Everything all right, Snake? Uh, I was having that dream again. We're here. Shadow Moses.
indeed. What's a Russian gun ship doing here? Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. How's that sneaky suit working, working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear, Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is a last good chance. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? The legendary Solid Snake? You? You? Don't worry. You'll land back on the back to meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Where are you? Where I can see ya.
don't see any enemies around here. Okay, we'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon, last time around we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right. I remember now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Hmm. Good point. Okay, then. Let's get to the back door. Snake, that door is locked. How do I open it? Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should be able to unlock the door from there. And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? Uh, I've not seen it all yet. Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <coughs> Snake, the password is 48273. Think you can remember that? I told you, I'm not senile. Yet. Snake. I've checked the APU on this floor and engaged the generator. Energy output is low, but it should be enough to power the elevator. Try the elevator and see if it's working. Okay, first go down the central hallway. Don't worry, it's not electrified anymore. Everything looks exactly like I remember it. Except for that wall way in back, anyway. I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on.
Hold on. I want to check security. forgot. Can you punch it in for me? It's a five-digit number. Nice job. At least your memory hasn't gone bad. up any unpleasant memories, is it? <laughs> I was being attacked by Frank Yeager. Yeah, I remember. If you hadn't shown up when you did, uh, gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Snake, you saved my life. Frank's body. But it was me that crippled him in the first place. She must have hated me too. <sighs> we shouldn't have been so trusting. I blame myself too. I helped develop Rex. That's why it was so easy for me to believe her feelings were genuine. But she was only using us to atone for her sins. So what? What did she do to us? You forgot already? She betrayed you. She stole your blood. If that was all, it should have been over and done with in South America. Why'd she join us afterward? Well, I... 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 She has us come rescue her, and then she turns around and goes straight back to Liquid. Why would she do that? I don't know, Snake. But it looks like she's still with him. What? I just had a look at the security access logs. As I thought, there's people coming and going at frequent intervals. In fact, the records show some recent activity. Look at this. It's an image taken a few hours ago by a surveillance camera up ahead. Naomi. And Vamp. The beauty and the 
beast. They've been through here. And from what we've gleaned from the security records, it can only mean one thing. They're headed for Rex's old underground hangar. I finished rebooting security and released the locks. The door on the first floor ought to open for you now. Uh, uh, amazing. Almost makes me nostalgic for the days when you needed a key card for every door. Yep. It's been nine years. All you really have to do is reinterpret the old technology in terms of the new. Getting old isn't all that bad, you know. <laughs> Let's get going, Snake. I finished unlocking the door on the first floor. It should open now. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes, yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? What? They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. How long are you going to stay in there? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you in a tough room too? Come on, get out. Okay, Snake, take the stairs down and go to the north door. I'll open it for you with the Mark III. the Mark III. Do something!
goes Gecko.
Something's coming!
Yo, Snake. I finished laundering that real gun you picked up just now. Knock yourself out. It's on the house. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story, Snake. This one's about crying wolf. You don't need me to tell you there's whole nations in Africa tearing themselves apart in the name of ethnic cleansing. Well, she was born into that environment. When she was a little girl, her village was attacked by rival armed factions. Her parents and siblings were slaughtered, and she was left a refugee. She took her last surviving relative, her baby brother, and ran as far as she could away from the war zone. One day, they came across an enemy unit, so she took her brother and hid in an abandoned shack. And then her brother started to cry. She knew that if the soldiers heard the noise, they would find them and kill them both. So she wrapped her hand as tight as she could around his mouth. As the footsteps gradually went away, she came back to her senses. Her brother wasn't crying anymore. Horrified, she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle, carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions, too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night, the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, she made it to a government-run refugee camp. But by then, her brother's body had rotted away. The camp was crowded with refugees like herself, and little children like her brother. Day and night, she was tormented by the cries of babies. The wolf that followed her heard her sorrowful screams and answered. He made his way around the camp, and one by one, he silenced the children. She tried to stop it, but she was powerless to stop the wolf. A few days passed, and on the eve of the enemy's raid, there wasn't a child left. The adults who survived were torn up pretty bad. Of course, there was never any wolf in that camp. She was the one who killed those babies. But she couldn't bring herself to admit it. She couldn't bear the thought of herself going from one baby to the next, howling like a wolf, snuffing out their little lives. And she never did, even as Crying Wolf, a lonely beast forever stalking the battlefield. Snake, fighting with you made Wolf finally accept what she'd done. She was cleansed by you. If the cries she heard of children on the battlefield have been silenced, it's because of you. You ought to be proud. Three down, one to go. All that's left is Mantis. But you should know, Snake, she's been controlling all the other beasts. She's the beast of beasts. Don't let her get her hooks in you. I won't. See you around, Snake.
she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be here too. Hold it, Snake. Time to change the disc. I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to swap disc one for disc two. You see the disc labeled two? No. Uh, no. Huh? Oh, wait. We're on PlayStation 3. It's a Blu-ray disc. Dual layered, too. No need to swap. Damn it, Otacon. Get a grip. <laughs> yeah, what an age we live in, huh, Snake? Wonder what they'll think of next. 